Okay. And uh, so it seems you learned a little bit before. Would you mind today we can do a review for you first, and then we can study the how to pronunciation the rules. Thus, in the future, you can read and pronounce it by yourself. Hmm. Okay. So. You must be know a word. I will write here. If you know that, try to write it out. Can you see the blackboard? Hmm, okay. So I will write the word here. Can you try to read it? Yeah. I will introduce Chinese for you systematically. So see here, Chinese made up by two parts. The first part here, this part, that's called Chinese character. Do you want to learn Chinese character? Mm. And Chinese character for reading and the writing. So you have already get China before. Everywhere I show you is Chinese character. So in the future, since you hold the pronunciation very well, like six months later or one year later, we can learn this character. Okay. Mm. And today we will focus on this part. This part called pinyin. Let me write here. If you cannot see very well, please tell me. This is pinyin. Mm, okay. And pinyin is a phonetic system. We borrow from Roman letters and we change it, called it pinyin. It is made up by three parts. Three. The first part you can say N and H. That's called initial or consonant. Initial or consonant. It almost sounds like English. So that's easy part for you. <laughs> mm. Okay, and here the second part I and A O. That's called finals or vowel. Finals is different from English. I will show you later how to pronounce it. Okay, and here the last part, as you say, that's tone. This two mark called tone mark, tone mark. So that's pinyin made up by three parts. Can you tell me which three part? The first part. Mm -hmm. Second part. Yeah, third part. Very good. Any question? Mm, I will sweep it, and now I will show you. Uh, first line, I want to show you the tone because tone is very important when you learn Chinese. Mm. So basically, we have four tones. Four tones. Mm. So see, I will use letter A as an example. The different tone has different mark. Okay, so can you try to read it, the four tones? Uh-huh, and second one? Yes? Uh -huh. mm, it seems you hold it, but you told me it's very difficult. May I know why? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so let's do a review. Uh, now I will show you a method to remember it very well. Okay. <laughs> mm, so see, I will use a five pitches. It's uh, sound like you see in a song have five pitches and one two three four five the first tone we put in pitches five so that's very high and it sounds like when you see a doctor that say open your mouth you should say ah uh, right <laughs> would you mind to go with me together ah uh, good very good ah uh, Mm, and second tone from bottom to the top, and it's up tone. It sounds like English people say, "What this what pronunciation?" So that's ah. Uh. Yes, ah. Uh. Mm, okay, and third tone, down first and then up. That's called ah. Uh. Yeah, when you heard people say "ni hao hao" is third tone, right? Hao. Mm, and then see here, last one is done directly. It sounds you are very angry. We see ah. Yes, ah. Hmm, very good. 
Okay, now let's try to read it again from first tone to last tone. Ah, 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 ah. Hmm, very good. So now, can you try to read by yourself from here? Keep flight. Open your mouth. Keep flight. Ah. Yeah, very good. Ah. Uh, hmm, second tone. Very good. Third tone. Yes, last tone. 很好,很好. You did a very good job. 很好 means very good. <laughs> okay, that's the four tones. And you know why I have to show you the tone first? Because different tone has different meaning. Let me show you. In Chinese pinyin, uh, you know, sometimes the syllable are seen, you see? D2, the syllable are seen, right? But the tone different. This one is last tone. We call it when. The character is this. And this one is third tone. When. The character writing like this. See? When. This character, that means ask. May I ask you? You can use when. Follow me. When. And here, third tone, when, that means kiss, when, yeah, so if you go China, you went China before, just think, you want to ask people the direction, may I ask you, if you cannot pronounce it when very well, people understand by, may I kiss you, <laughs> it will be very embarrassed, right, <laughs> so, we have to attention, yeah, we have to attention the different tones. Mm -hmm. Okay, the four tones, do you have any questions? Okay, so now I will show you the other single vowels. When you learn English, you have to learn the, thing, the basic single vowel first, like A, E, I, O, U. And uh, when you learn Chinese, you also learn something like this, but we have six single vowels, six, let me write here. Six single vowel. The first one is ah. Uh, you already know that, right? Okay. So now, can you try to read that again with different tone? The first one. Keep flight. Ah. Uh, mm, second tone. Uh huh. Third tone. Mm, last tone. Very good. And let me show you the first one, the second one, the single ball is O. Oh. Mm. And we put first tone, it's O. Oh. Mm. Second tone, O. Oh. Mm. Good. And third tone, can you try to read it by yourself? Very good, see? You can use a different tone to read different single ball. Okay, last tone, angry. Mm, good. And that's for second one. And third one, this one is uh. Mm, good. Second tone. Mm, good. And third tone. Uh. Yes. And last tone. Mm, okay, and uh, please remember this word because this word uh, in Chinese that means hungry. Let me write here for you. <laughs> so you go to China, go to restaurant, you just say uh, you will know you want to eat something. This is uh, mm. and this one, see, mm. this one is e. Yeah, but when we post the tone mark, we omit this dot. So this is e. Second one. Yeah, third tone. Mm, last tone. Very good. And the fifth one. This one is. Ooh. Yeah, and I think the others you can read by yourself. Mm hmm. 
很好。Oh, and last one, maybe you learned before, but attention, there's some special one. It's two dots, no than u. So we call it u. Very good. You know, u is very difficult, but you can read by yourself first time. That's right. U. Second tone, u. Third tone, by yourself. Yeah, last tone. Yes, very good. Okay, that's for the six single one. Let's just try to read the first tone. Okay, let's practice again from first one. Ah, uh, yeah. Open your mouth. Oh, uh, e, u. Very good. That's u. Okay, and that's six single vowel. Do you have any questions? So since you know the six single vowel, and actually, uh, the pronunciation for you is really easy. Let's let's try to say. So, uh, I will give you a word. You can try to read by yourself first. Okay. See here. This is initial o and third tone. This is. 我，嗯，我 means I or me. That's 我。嗯 ，Okay. See the second word. This one. Last one. That is 是。是 means yes or B. So 我是 I am. 我是。Good. And for Helena, I can say 我是 Helena. That means I am Helena. Can you try to see your name? Very good, Kira. You did a very good job. That's 我是 So in the future, you can talk this to your uh, Chinese friend, introduce by yourself, right? Mm, that's 我是 Okay. And now let's do that again, Kyo. At the beginning of the lesson, we introduce ourselves in English. Now, can you try to say in Chinese? I am. Are you ready? Hmm. 你好，我是 Helena. <laughs> Very good. 很好。Hmm. And we know 我是 Let's say the second word here. This one called 你，你。嗯，你 means you, you. So see, you always heard people say 你好，你 means you. 好 means good. That means Chinese people hope you are good, you are well. So we say 你好 So we also can say 你是，你是 Here because 是 can be B. So here is on、uh, you are. So. Yeah, so I can write your name here, right?、Mm. For me, I can say 你是 Korea. Yeah. Ah,、uh, sorry. Oh, here, right? Oh, thank you very much. 谢谢 <laughs> You mentioned me here. Now am I right? Thank you very much.、Mm. So I can say yeah, 你是 Kyoga, right? Can you try to see yourself and Helena use 我是 and 你是嗯。Very good, 很好。<laughs> 我是 Helena. 嗯。And just now you told me you have a Chinese friend, right? Ah,、oh, okay. Just tell me one of best friend. Let's try to say. Sometimes we are not only introduce ourselves, but also、uh, the people around us, like your friend. We will say she is, he is, right? In Chinese, whatever she, he, or it, we call it 他 but different character. So say here, 他 that means she, he, or it. Let me write here, she, he, or it, and still can use 是 So, 他是 
Tell me your best friend. 他是 who? Maggie, right? Does Maggie、uh, recognize this? Maggie. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I just remember that pronunciation here, Maggie. So we can use 她是 Maggie, and I have a friend. 她是 Michael. He is Michael. So, do you have any other、uh, male friend? You can use "ta shi" to say that again. Hmm. Ta shi whom? Ah,、oh, okay, <laughs> okay. So now, see, we know when we introduce someone to somebody, we can use "I am" or "shi." You are, 你是 and he is, 他是 Right.、Mm, okay. So now,、mm, can you try to introduce yourself, Helena, and one of your friends by these words?、Mm, let's try to do that. Uh huh. What about? Uh huh. For me, she said, "You is Helena, right?" Uh huh. But Tasha still right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Very good. It's my turn. I is Helena. You is. Oh, your name is a Russian name, right? <laughs> I'm just worried if I read it not right. <laughs> okay. Oh,、uh, okay. And she is Sophie. She is Sophie. Your academic coordinator. She is Sophie. Hmm. Okay. Um. So now, actually, we know the three new words, right? I, I, you, you, he, she, or he. And one of verb is she. Do you have any questions? Hmm. Okay. So I will switch it, and I will show you the second sentence. So we can see that we can use 我你 and 他 to follow by 是 right and see somebody's name. Let's see. But sometimes I know you told me what's your name, but I just worried. Did I hear that right? So I want to make sure we will use this sentence. Let me right here. This is 是 something 吗 Can you see that? 是 something 吗？吗、嗯、？Did you see that? Here is no tone mark.、嗯、This is called neutral tone. It's fifth tone. So you in tones like we have five tones, four basic tone and one neutral tone. Neutral tone mostly has no meaning, just the last tones prolonged. Here, this 吗 is a question word, just express the question mood, always followed by a question mark. So, is something 吗 We can use to ask people. I have a question. 你是 Creole 吗 Are you Creole? Hmm. Ah,、oh, very good. Can you try to ask me? By is something 吗 Ah, ah, attention. That's we just 你 right? 你是 Helena 吗 Hmm. Try that again. Are you Helena? I is Helena. Very good. And she is Maggie, ma. Does she is Maggie? Hmm. What about you? Can you try to ask me by she something, ma? She is Michael. You are right. She is Michael. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. This is she is something. Hmm. So I have a question. I is Sophie. Ma. I is Sophie. Ma. Uh huh. My question is, am I Sophie? 
Mm, it seems you need no, right? <laughs> no in Chinese we call bu, but we follow by shi, we need by second tone. So bu shi is not. Bu shi. Mm. Yeah, so you can see me. Ni bu shi so fei. You are not so fei, right? Mm. So let's try that again. I will ask you answer, okay? <laughs> 我问你答, 嗯, 我是Sophie吗? Ah, oh, very good. Can you try to see your long sentence? You are not Sophie. Mm -hmm. If you cannot see Blackboard, tell me. Very good! Congratulations! Very fast! 我不是Sophie。那你是Maggie吗? 你是Maggie吗? Try to see the whole sentence. Very good! You're right! When you answer, when you answer, we, did, we needn't ma here because ma is question sentence, right? We can see 我不是Maggie Very good 那他是Sophie吗? 他是Sophie吗? Wow, ah, good! This time I'm right, right? 他是Sophie, she is Sophie <laughs> Okay And you told me you have another friend Oh Okay so we know that at today we can learn three sentences. The first one is statement sentence, right? Statement sentence. And the second one is question sentence. The third one is a negative, negative sentence. Mm. So these three sentences, do you have any questions? Mm, okay, so now can you try to read, can you try to make some sentences by yourself? First line. The statement sentence by 我,你,他, can you? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> Here. Oh, very good. And that second sentence, 是,something,吗? <laughs> 你不是,Sophia. <laughs> And here, oh, very good. 很好,你不是Michael, 我不是Sophie, 我是Helena. <laughs> okay, very good. So now you can use a different pattern to speak different sentences. That's very good. But now, let's do a conversation. Okay, let's do a conversation. Just, just do something like in real life when you talk with Chinese friend. You want to introduce yourself. Let's try do a conversation. Okay, are you ready? Would you mind to go first or let me go first? Ni hao, wo shi Helena. I have a question. 你是Kiro吗? 你是 嗯, 哦, 我是Helena 她是Maggie吗? 她不是Michael 她不是Michael 他不是Michael He's... Oh, he's not Michael <laughs> But you didn't ask... Mm. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I said Michael <laughs> So, but you didn't ask me any questions? Mm, see here
我不是索菲 <笑> 对, you're right 她是索菲, she is Sophie <笑> Very good, that's very fluent like You see, just in 30 minutes You learn the three sentences And so many new words You know the Chinese uh, sentence structure And I'm so glad to hear at last you can make a very fluent conversation with me. Congratulations, and you are a very fast learner. 